Torah Life Ministries come out of the world. Messiah people seek the truth. Hello everybody, it's Paul Neeson, your health watchman, watching out for your health. And I am telling you, we have a big problem in today's world, and that is the problem of immorality. That is the problem of living against the word of our wonderful creator. And that is the problem of just the way the world is today. They care more about the customs and trends of this world than they do the design of our Creator. But the more you live against the design of our Creator, the more you suffer, because He says in His Word, if you follow my ways and stay on my path, you will be blessed. Now here's the real problem, everybody. We have a, a, a gospel being taught today that is different than what's being shown in the Bible. And here is the issue. Somebody will come up to somebody and say, hey, you have everything you think you need in life. You have cars, you have houses, you have money, but the one thing you're missing is Yahshua, our Messiah, or they might say Jesus, the Christ. You're missing him, and if you have him, then you're complete. But I say that is wrong. I say it doesn't matter everything else you have that might appear good to this world. Without Yeshua Messiah, you have nothing, and you are nothing. But when you have him, everything changes. You see, that is the problem we have today. That has been taken out uh, of the scriptures today, and people are just talking about, well, he can complete you. Everything you have is wonderful, but he makes it even better. No, everything you have is nothing without him, and you must remember that. You have to understand that, because today it's just different, and you can't get people to understand. If you tell somebody, here's another issue, if you tell somebody that once you accept Yeshua as your Messiah, everything's going to be wonderful and everything's going to be great and your life is going to be just marvelous and nothing ever bad is going to happen to you. But what happens when that person accepts Yeshua as their Messiah and all of a sudden they realize that, hey, their life isn't that great. Their life is just as hard as all the apostles before them that accepted Yeshua Messiah and all the believers. No, there's no guarantee when you accept Yeshua as Messiah that your life is going to be easier and stress-free. As a matter of fact, I will say your life will most likely be harder and add more stress added to it because now you become set apart and you're living against the world. But if you truly accept Him with your heart and not your lips, something happens. When you accept Him, you with joy take on those stresses and those hardships because you know that you're only here for a certain amount of time and you have an eternal place waiting for you in heaven. That's what we have to understand. But when you tell somebody that their life is going to change and their life doesn't change for the better, what's one of the things they commonly do? They say, well, my life was better before I knew Messiah because I was living against my own way of doing things. I was doing things my own way. Well, we need to tell people the truth. It might be harder here because you'll be set apart and you might deal with more stresses, but it will be better. Because you know that regardless of what's happening on the outside, you'll have this joy inside that is going to completely transform you. How do you know that? Well, the first step is you, when you accept Yeshua as Messiah and if you truly meant it and you truly repent for your ways, what happens is you no longer love the life you were once living in your fleshly desires. And now you love His ways. As a matter of fact, you will hate the ways that you once enjoyed. If that's not happening, you have to question where your true motives are. We have to understand about motives. It's not the outcome of what we're doing. It's the motive of why we're doing it that we got to think about. Because that's what he sees. He sees our heart. So we have to realize this and understand the whole key of mercy and grace. Mercy is the time he gives us to get this right. But you know what? His time will run out. And I want you to be on the right side of the fence when his time runs out. And that's one of the reasons why I do this. Because as a watchman, I have to let you, you know, if uh, you're doing something that's going to create your ultimate salvation. So he gives us mercy to get there, to get to that final point. The other thing we got to look at is his grace. His grace will take away your sin nature. His grace will take away your sin nature. Does that mean you'll never sin again? No. That means you'll understand the guidelines and instructions and his law, his Torah. And when you understand that, you will understand what sinning is all about because if you don't understand his Torah and his law you're gonna just be living a life in sin having no idea that you're sinning you're gonna be thinking like most people well I'm just a good person because I do good things and people call me good well that has nothing to do with the measurement of good and bad what it comes down to is knowing and understanding the guidelines and instructions knowing the law and knowing that when you have that law you know now that you're breaking that law and you also know that he takes away our sin nature, but no one is ever going to be able to keep all the commandments 100%. But what happens is you stop using that as an excuse not to try to keep the commandments. When you have His grace with joy and passion, you desire to keep the commandments every day of your life, knowing that 
you are doing what he sees your heart and that's what you want to do and you understand what the law is and you understand you're trying to keep the guidelines and instructions of our creator and this is where these things start to change and this is the difference a big problem we have today in the church is there's no knowledge of the Torah or the law because they've taken that out of the scriptures and they never talk about that they just talk about the great things that Messiah has waiting for you if you become a believer but they have no idea you have to bring the Torah back into it so people understand how bad they really are what lawbreakers they really are and then when you realize that you realize that we can't do it on our own we need a savior we need a messiah and it's the blood of messiah that will cover our transgressions that will cover our torah breaking that will cover our sins we're not torah keepers we're torah pursuing trying to keep the torah and that's what he asked for us to be torah pursuing because it's not about perfection it's about being Torah pursuant in your heart, knowing that He has given us a standard to live by, and we set out every day to live by that. But by His mercy and His grace, if something doesn't go right, we still are guaranteed a place in the wonderful place in heaven. But those people out there that call themselves Christians, but purposely ignore the guidelines and instructions and law, or even worse, say they're not even under the law and they don't have to deal with it or anything else, those people do not have a place in eternal salvation. Those are the people that say, we don't need the law. Those are the people that the average Christian is today. Those are the people that the church is talking about today. They don't understand the importance of Yeshua Messiah so they don't, because they don't understand the importance of the law. So when they accept Yeshua as their Messiah, nothing in their life changes because nobody teaches what they're doing wrong. We're all sinners, folks. We're all sinners. And only by the blood of Messiah can our sin be forgiven. But that is not an excuse to keep living in sin. That should, should raise the standard even more to show us what He did for us and what He does for us every single day. It has to be a consistent, consistent, consistent walk that every single day you be Torah pursuant to keep the guidelines and instructions of our Creator and stop using as an excuse, well, I'm saved, so I don't need the, the Torah, I don't need the law, or I'm not Jewish, so I don't need the law. That has nothing to do with it. We have this wonderful gift and to just throw it away would be a big waste. So we know we might suffer from struggles in today's world and, and, and stresses, but we know we're only here for a certain amount of time. If you take a whole clock and you look at eternity, you take about five seconds, that's the amount of time we're here on earth. But we have an eternity waiting for us in heaven. And the only way you're gonna get there is accepting Yeshua Messiah, not with your lips, but with your heart. And when you do that, you're gonna love what he loves and hate what he hates. And he hates people that break his Torah, his guidelines and instructions. Regardless of what they say with their lips, they are not getting into the kingdom. Do you want to be saved? Do you want to be in the kingdom? Start studying the Torah and start understanding what the law is all about and then realize what a sinner you truly are and how much we truly need him. If you have any comments or questions, post them below the video. Thanks for checking us out. This is Paul Neeson with Torah Life Ministries saying, have a great day and Shalom Shalom.